News that's just coming in. Koshiari's resignation has been accepted by President Draupadi Murmu. Ramesh Bias will become the new governor of the state of Maharashtra as B.S. Koshiari now exits. Opposition had fired Koshiari over his remarks on Shivaji. Aditya Thakre now says that this is a big win for the state of Maharashtra. Sanjay Raut has said Koshiari's exit was eminent after the comments he made against Shivaji. Shivaji Maharaj, Savitri Bhai Phule, who has been told about the time of the Maharashtra, who has been told about the time of the Maharashtra, who has been told about the time of the Maharashtra. अगर राज्य की जनता की आवाज सुन लेते थे तुरंत उनका तबादला होता लेकिन नहीं किया आखिरी मिनट तक राज्यपाल का समर्थन केंद्र सरकार करती रही ये महाराष्ट्र कभी भूलेगा नहीं और आज सामुदायिक जो तबादले हुए हैं उसमें महाराष्ट्र के राज्यपाल का तबादला हुआ है ये कोई मेहरबानी नहीं है my colleague Pankaj Ubadhyay is now joining me on the story. Pankaj, there were many controversies over the comments that Koshiari had made, especially with regards to Chhatrapati Shivaji. Now the opposition is saying that this is a good move. Well, it's a long list uh, as far as the controversies are concerned. There was a sort of a cold war that was also going on between the governor and the Mahavikas Aghadi as well. And it all started ever since uh, uh, ever since uh, the governor Bhagat Singh Koshyari officiated uh, the early morning swearing in ceremony uh, of Devinder Fadnavis and the uh, NCP uh, leader Ajit Pawar. Of course, we, as we all know, uh, that the government did not even last uh, for more than uh, three days, but that set the tone uh, for the war between uh, Bhagat Singh Koshyari and the Mahavikas Aghari. I also remember that during the COVID times, especially Bhagat Singh Koshyari had written a letter uh, to then Chief Minister uh, of the MBA, Uthav Thakre, asking him for the delay in the opening of the religious institutions and had said whether he was being secular uh, when he was uh, uh, ordering the delay. And so much so, the controversy had sparked the, that Sharad Bawar had to write a letter to the Prime Minister Narendra Modi and even Amit Shah had to intervene saying that the uh, governor should have been cautious as far as the word of uh, usage of words is concerned. Uh, then, of course, uh, his biggest controversy when he said that uh, Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj is an icon of the olden days and that the, the newer generation could think of uh, new, uh, new icons like Nitin Gadkari as well. Plus, of course, uh, the controversy uh, when he was uh, seen mocking the child marriage of Savitri Bhai Pule and Jyoti Bhai Pule. Uh, and, and today, when the resignation has been accepted and Maharashtra knows that it is going to have a new governor in the form of uh, Ramesh Bais, we have the opposition party uh, leaders mm -hmm. who are cheering this exit, especially Sanjay Raut of the Shiva Sena. And right. we have the NCP as well who have said that this is a welcome move. Right, Pankaj. You know, in fact, in January, Koshyari had expressed his desire to resign from the post and also devote his time to reading and writing. So now it looks like what he wanted, he's got. But the opposition obviously is celebrating, especially the leaders in Maharashtra, saying that this was imminent. Uh, yeah, I, I remember, uh, you know, before this incident, when uh, Well, news that's just coming in. Ramesh Bias is the new governor of the state of Maharashtra. B.S. Koshiari's resignation has been accepted by President Draupadi Murmu. The opposition is now saying that this was eminent. Aditya Thakre is saying that this is a big win for the state of Maharashtra.